Well, hi everyone. Welcome to the channel. This is a fall setup. Some of the things that I'm going to be using for this fall. In my planner, I prefer the A5 size. This is a Louis Vuitton agenda. This is a canvas and it is the size of A5 if you're in file effects. And I believe this would be called the classic if you were in Franklin Covey. But it's basically a half sheet of paper. I use this planner every single day, seven days a week. It goes to my corporate world, I use it for my Avon business and it keeps my personal items intact. So this is always full and goes with me every single day. Isn't this a cute little pen? Adorable. So in my front section, I always have a year calendar and I've done this for seven or eight years. There's always a full year calendar in the front for reference. Really quick just to pull up and find out what day of the week something's going to happen on. Uh, if I'm going to take a vacation, when does a holiday, etc. Okay, so this is some notes that I have to keep in there that I keep every year. And then I'll find pictures off of Google and put them on color and thick paper and hole punch. Now this is hole punched on the, both sides, left and right, depending on when I have this open, if this is what I want to see. If I get tired of it, then I'll just pull that out and I'll have this shown. Does that make sense? Because I'm right-handed, so I'm always writing on this page. So the first section is the corporate world. There is quite a bit going on on a daily in the corporate world. And so I like to have all the papers thick on this side so it's easier to write. That's just another little tips and tricks of how I set up. So this is my fall. The fall setup. I really like these Agenda 52 packets that come for the whole year. I picked those up at uh, Hobby Lobby and very inexpensive. I think they were $10. So you get the whole year and I love that they're not dated so that I can change the way the dates are done each month the way that I'm feeling that month. So the corporate world just goes on and on and on and on and on. Many things that have to be transferred from one area back over to the next because things roll over and you can't accomplish everything in the same date. Now I put in December already. Let's see, here's a future appointment that I need to put in for January. Did not want to forget that. So these are just inexpensive Agenda 52 packets that have the full week. That I can write things on and I really like having the week on two pages uh, lines are big enough for me to write to keep notes and to be able to say you know something's not checked off on Monday when I get over here to Friday I can just obviously just move my eyeballs and be able to see that so I do like these so for my fall setup There is a section here that I'm not using. That's why you're seeing two dashboards. This is a personal section. It is my brain dump section. Now, brain dump to me is opening up a piece of paper and quickly jotting down someone's phone number notes that I want to remember, time off schedule, anything that I don't really have a spot in my planner set up yet for it, 
I'll just grab my brain dump section and quickly jot it down. Now to me, a brain dump section could also mean your blank papers in your planner. It could mean that that's your uh, junk section or clean out section at the end of the month. People call those different things. how cute this is. Another dashboard. And I found this one on Google Images, I believe. And I just printed it in color. And then I glued these two pages on thick, thick paper, 20 pound paper. So, didn't cost me anything. These pages here come from mysummertouch.com. Her website and Facebook group are fabulous. She's got freebies in there. And on her website, her items are for different styles. So if you like the little boxes, you could get this for a traveler's notebook, A6, you name it. She's got plenty of different sizes. And as a matter of fact, as we're going through this, I'm going to do two things at once. While we're discussing my fall setup and tips and tricks I put in here, I'm also going to do a clean out. Because I do know that there's some pages in here that I don't need moving forward. As you can tell, I use these pages all the time in my personal section. I really like uh, my summer touch pages. And I have a today and a weekly. I purchased this from a wonderful lady off of Etsy for a few dollars. Okay. These notes have to be folded over. Yeah, my personal section, there's some items in there that need to find other homes, or I'm going to transfer those to a, a co worker in the next two weeks. This was a freebie from Instagram, Plan with Jazz. And I printed it in color and I did two copies so that I could put it on front and back and then this is also a personal section of mine so I use this for my Avon business here in the state of Oregon and for the ladies that are watching this that are from another country I know that they I have four people that are from other com countries watching this video so uh, in America, the Avon rip, there will be some to-dos and ordering. And I put this on bright orange paper this time. So I have enough in here for the rest of November and December. Oh, that was to tell you that these sheets came from My Summer Touch. And these that are laminated, I purchased from a wonderful lady off of Etsy, and I got to write what I wanted on the name of each one of them. They're really colorful, and they're just white on the back, and I thought that was boring, so I put stickers. So Etsy shop called The Clever Planner. Here's some more sheets from My Summer Touch. I'm going to keep that one in there for a little bit longer. See, this was a brain dump piece of paper. So I do need those. This dashboard, I put Cup of Joe. I used to own a coffee shop back in uh, 2003, and it was called Cup of Joe. Okay. 
Okay, so now my spending section. Here's a really good tip. And even though this is my fall setup, I wanted to show you a good tip that you could use for yourself. When I'm ordering items, I keep them written down. What did I order? The date that I ordered it, how much was it, and the dates that I, they actually arrive, if it's a large order. But I always, for my spending, keep quarterly spending. This is an overview for me to quickly glance down and see the first quarter of the year. What did I spend extra money on, second quarter, and so forth. As you can tell, sometimes there's more lines needed. <laughs> but I made these up myself. In the first quarter, the boxes are very large. When you get over here to the third quarter, these are a lot smaller. But this is just something I made and have saved on my computer and use this every single year. I have these sheets kept for the six years prior. So even purchasing like this planner, that was an expenditure that I did not need to do and therefore it would have been written down. And then I would know who I wrote it, well, who I purchased it from, the date and the amount. But I, I just love keeping a quick review and where did my extra money go? So you can come up with your own. I made this one uh, from Excel, but um, there's budgeting sheets, there's free ones on just Google uh, budget sheets or spending trackers, and there's tons of things in there that you can get. These sheets I just got from my summer touch this is a new one and I'm going to be using these three different ways so as I get those set up I'll do another video on how I do my tracking and my routines by using these sheets and I printed this on very very thick paper I rounded the edges and I, I love these I think these are fantastic my final section back here says reference. Now I got to put that name on this one. My Summer Touch Facebook group, you can get a full year calendar. It has all the dates. It only comes in this size, which is a personal size. But that doesn't bother me. I folded it over so that I would have enough room for hole punching and then just have it as a fold out. This is the second year in a row that I've used this and I keep track of my YouTube views, uh, Instagram, and vacations. Small little details go onto this little tracker. And of course I put a few little stickers. So my reference channel, or excuse me, my reference section has odds and ends, different things that I want to keep. They're quick reviews, different things that I want to quickly re find and have listed. This is a 52 week home challenge that you can find on Pinterest. So it has lots of different ideas for you to do around your house each week. I thought that was interesting. I ordered two years ago Sessa V uh, some project and agenda sheets. The paper quality is wonderful. I don't know what it is about these. I've had them for so long and I, I may use three pages a year. I think they're beautiful. I'm just not using them, so I'm not sure why. And get clear back here, I have some personal goals blank sheets that has some notes 
and always a thank you card ready to go at all times. But this is my setup for the fall. And hopefully there was a couple of things in here that triggered you to maybe start using or to set up yourself, especially the spending section, or just dividing up your personal section from your corporate world so that things are in two different sections instead of all listed on one. So thanks for watching, you guys. Have a fabulous week. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like videos that have to do with planners, give it a thumbs up for small YouTubers like myself that do not have a thousand subscribers our videos tend to get lost and don't roll back up for other people to see so if you can give it a like that would be fantastic thank you